Hello friends. Given it's Masters Week, I thought I'd do a quick little clip to thank all my followers and viewers to Ali's Golf Studio since in the top 10 series that I started beyond the initial many individual clips, particularly around exercises, we've passed the 50 clip mark. So a really good milestone. Lots more to come. Do subscribe. Another 50 on the way. Let me first thank you for following this channel, for sharing the clips with others if you've done so, for those who have commented. And I hope that the range of things that I've provided has been both interesting, versatile, different, but also drawing on a lot of knowledge, personal experience, personal effort in my own golf game, and drawing from experts, pros, and others. I wanted to then outline to all of you what's coming, because there's lots of interesting stuff coming. And none of these are in any order of importance. I'll do them as my analysis and research and material is assembled and ready to be filmed. First is many more pro comparisons. Second, a lot of drills, some where you need some aids and tools and some where you don't need any aids and tools and you can do the drills with great effect without any tools, with the exception of your golf clubs. Third, what are some of the key top 10 things to, that you can do to go from being a high handicap to a mid handicap? And then similarly from a mid handicap to a low handicap. I will also do a clip that will be helpful on key points of advice for beginners. Then I'll do a bunch of things on fault fixes. For example, chunking. Why is chunking happening? How can you fix it? What are the different elements that you need to address to ensure that you're not chunking the ball? There'll be a clip or a series of clips on key aspects of the game, key shots. So on your driver, on the short game, on your wedges. For example, I had mentioned a recent clip. I'll do something on Phil Mickelson and his wedge game. Then there'll be something on shots to track. So which shots should you try to track on your scorecard? analyze afterwards and it'll help you pinpoint those areas where you could quickly fix or improve or where you need to focus on whether it's on the range or in another practice round and then go back and when you track it again in the next round see whether that's made a difference both to your game to your score and to your enjoyment elements to get rid of so different elements that you may have picked up, different habits that without realizing it, but through some tools, including videoing yourself, using things like Live View, for example, you can get rid of certain elements, which in, it, in and of itself will help you improve your golf swing and your golf game. And then similarly to the sort of mid, high, low handicap, what are the key elements to break 90? What are the key elements to break 80? So. You'll see from this quick summary, there's lots more exciting stuff to come. And I look forward to putting them together, reflecting on analysis and research. Being Masters Week, I thought it would be good to give a big thank you, but also to give you a heads up of other things to come. Do subscribe, stick the notifications on because that way you'll be informed when all of these different pieces are ready and uploaded. Do comment. Do contribute. See you on the flip side.